I guess like in so many marriages, we all just got a little bit complacent. It has been 20 years since the last Quebec referendum. We can't be blamed for thinking that those marriage troubles were behind us. I mean, yes, we had that rough patch there in 1995 when Quebec wanted to see other people, but we got through that. And now all of a sudden we turn on the news every night. There's Pauline Marois talking about an independent Quebec. Now I'm not saying the marriage is over. We got a long way to go before we get there, but you just know there's going to be a whole lot of awful touchy feely conversations in our future. That and the throwing of dishes, because just like the last time we were in marriage counseling, the Parti Québécois are completely delusional. I mean, to hear Pauline Marois tell it, this divorce would not be amicable. It would be downright pleasant. I mean, Quebec is going to be this wonderful country without borders and no tolls and they're going to use the Canadian dollar and oh, they're going to have a seat on the board of directors of the Bank of Canada. Really, Pauline? Anything else we can get you? The Parti Quebec was like some guy in a bar telling his friends he's going to leave his wife, except he's going to keep the house and the dog, and plus they're going to sleep with each other when he's in the mood, and oh, she's going to take over the car payments. See, in the real world, that guy would have friends there to give him a smack and tell him he was an idiot. But in the fantasy world of Quebec politics, these notions, they go completely unchallenged. Look, we all know there are troubles in most marriages, and some marriages sadly end in divorce, and an amicable divorce is the best kind of divorce. And if you believe they exist, I've got a bridge to sell you. It's well constructed and in Quebec.